Let's get on with the show. Let's We're going to go. start with everybody's favorite question they ask you. You get I, you get asked this question all the time. And I, I get asked to, this question more than any other question you can possibly imagine. Yeah. Some people call it how do I get sponsored? Mm -hmm. And you know, you don't got to the point where I only answer the question how they ask it. Right. So if a guy says, how do I get sponsored? I say, we well, have to go really good locally and ask somebody with money to put you up, put it up for you. <laughs> and then they write back and say, no, no, that's not what I meant. Well, oh. that's what you asked me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what do you, do you want me to infer what you're asking? Yeah. Oh, oh, I was supposed to guess what you wanted to ask me. Um, how, but you know, I get, get that, I get that a million times. How do it's I like, get on staff? You know, how do I get sponsored? Why are you doing a bullathon with your kid? Yeah, that's what they write. How do I get sponsored? I don't know. You know, what do you want? Two cents a pin and knock down. What do you want? Yeah. So I always tell them, go find somebody with money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you know, I, I, here's the part about asking about staff. Um, you got to really ask yourself what the reason is that you want to be on a company staff. And if it ever gets down to the words, I really want to get free bowling balls. You're probably not going to get picked. Even if that is the reason and we don't know it, it'll, it'll come out. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to be on staff because you're looking for a future in a bowling ball business, possibly, you know, um, getting on staff is probably one of the steps. Maybe, you know, <laughs> why are you laughing? I'm laughing right? at Panici's comment. I, I couldn't ignore it. Say? He oh, said, if I had say? Phil's money, I'd burn mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jim, I was thinking the same thing about you. <laughs> That's right. It's like one of you guys are on San Marco Island enjoying cigars, yeah, and not. the other I'm one is not. Working. I'm yeah. still working. Yeah, who's got the money? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, I put Jim on staff. Yeah, you know, in a minute. Anyway, the um, you, you got to think about the reason that you want to be on staff. Yeah. Um, you know, I had a guy send an, an, an email in last week or the week before, and it said that he wanted to be on staff. And then um, <clears throat> I just wrote back and said, you know, what equipment are you currently, currently throw? No, he, he said he currently throws Roto Grip and Storm. Yeah. And I was like, I wrote back and said, well, how do you know that Radical would be um, a good match for you? And his answer was, well, I know my equipment. Well, you don't know my equipment, you know. So I think what happened is he probably got dropped by radical by um, rotor grip or storm and looking you know, for looking that free for, fix again. Free fi exactly, and you know what? I've been doing this for thirty, going on thirty four years. I could recognize when the answer is um, I really want free bowling balls. Mm -hmm. So you know what do you what do we look for? Um, you know the one thing we look for you have to be an influencer. What and does that, what does you, that mean to you? To me, that, that might means, mean something different to me. Absolutely right. To me, that means somebody that is approachable, um, has a lot of people that ask him about what he does and how he does it. Um, and he's a promoter, not only of himself, but of the product that he uh, that he endorses. What does it mean to you? It means to me is. I mean, I, I managed a staff for many years as a rep right. out west. And right. then when I came to uh, Michigan, I actually managed the entire staff of over 500-ish at the time. Now we have a yeah. lot more since the acquisition of, of the Ebonite brands. Right. But for me, you know, in the field, the first thing I looked for, you know, I, I kind of classified staff guys as in two different parts. You know, the guys that were the elite bowlers. Right. That – traveled to bowl everything everywhere in the Northwest. Right. And then the guys that were just upstanding people that were affiliated with pro shops and bowling centers. Okay. You know, where they may not have been as good of a bowler, but everybody likes them. You have right. great relationships, not only with right. other centers and pro shops, but with people too. I mean, right. your right. fellow bowlers, you know, have to relate to you as well. Cause if you're the best bowler in the area and no one likes you, that's not that's good the, for you. It's not good for you. That's not right. good for your chances, right. you know? Right, right. You know, and I consider uh, influencers like pro shop guys. Sure. All of that category. They are directly responsible for who gets what product. Absolutely. So, you know, when I look at it, that's the first thing I look at is 
if you're in a pro shop, <clears throat> um, there's a good chance that you can get on staff if you're you, and you can't be a part timer at your pro shop. You can't work mm. four hours a day and you know want us to give you every ball that comes out. But if you're in a pro shop and you have a decent um, clientele, it's a good chance you can get on staff. Sure. You know, but but then again, with that comes you have to have our product on the shelves. You got to be selling the product consistently, you know, and so on. Yeah. Um, There's an expectation know. there on both sides. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to supply yeah. you with what you need. And yeah. in the end, you know, you're going to try to make, yeah. you know, Brunswick product go out the door first. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It has to be that way. Um, if a customer no, comes get... in and asks for something specific that's not ours, that's fine. That happens. But someone's right. kind of on the fence hey i don't know what i want i kind of want something like you know uh, what do you think when they say what do you think i need um my he, answer usually is you probably need lessons but when they <laughs> ask what do you think i need um you probably want to have them the worst first word out of your mouth is well on this wall i have and they're all our brands mm -hmm. you know and then you can start to dwindle wh whittle it down to w more specifics but the um the majority of people that send me um requests are looking for free balls mm -hmm. you know and and i get some beauties you know a guy won a handicap tournament over the weekend using the uh sneak attack and he'd like to get on staff or i only throw radical and what i throw um everybody wants to buy well you know is that is that true you know right because oh, cool. we can check yeah we can <laughs> <laughs> You know, and then there's the guy with the 175 average that got to 190 throwing the, uh, you know, the new um, outer limits. And he wants to get on staff because he knows he could bowl on tour in two years if he had radical equipment sponsoring him. Right. Uh, that, you know. Right. So, and then yeah. and then you get the guys that think it's just because those guys on tour have access to all that equipment. Yeah. yeah. That, that's why they're on tour and that's why they're so good. Yeah. And like, some, you know, some of the problems with that is the detriment and people don't realize that, yeah. you know, I, we have a, my guys here and everybody knows Seth and, uh, and now Caleb Coleman is a two hander that's been on our website a few times. It's fantastic. But I always caution them not to fall in love with the new ball. You know, it's always nice to have, Oh, I got another new ball coming, another new ball coming, but you can't have that many options and always guess right. You know, you got to have your your go to stuff, that stuff that's in your arsenal that you know is going to work. And, you know, the new stuff comes in. If you can't replace an older one with a new one, the new one's got to, the old one's got to stay in the bag. You know, so staff guys always think, well, you know, I'm, look how many new balls I'm going to get. Well, you know, hey, I own a company and yeah. I got four balls in my bag. And I think and, and none, of, none of them are newer than a year old. There's, there's so much information out now and so many people are right. on staff and with social media, you know, right. person that's not on staff says, Oh, I want to be on staff because so-and-so is on staff. I feel like right. I'm better than him. Yeah. You know, back in 2003, when I first got, or 2002, I don't remember what year exactly was, but I got asked to be on staff and I was like, my first question was, well, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean? Right. You right. know, Robert Lawrence was the rep in the West at the time. Sure. And, and I was in a pro shop. And, um, you know, starting to bowl regionals and stuff like that. And yes, yeah, yeah. You know, do you want to be on staff? You know, he's, he's seen me throw some shots and he's seen me do some videos and stuff. Right. And the first question I asked him was, well, can I still throw my Columbia Stingray? Yeah. You know, I had no idea what the rules were. And I was just like, <laughs> what is, apparently it's an exclusive contract. I got to throw it's only really, Brunswick. Throw it. Yeah. You're on staff, but you can try. You can use whatever you want. No. <laughs> well, I didn't know. That's the thing. I know like, you didn't. There I weren't, know. There weren't a thousand people out there that were on regional staff. Right. Right. You know, when I was yeah, it's, it's when I was on staff, there there had to have been in Southern California, which, mind you, is a pretty big populace. Yes. Yeah. I was probably one of three or four people. Right. In all of Southern California on staff. Yeah, I understand. And then then it was it was a big deal. Um you know, when I bowled on the island, I was bowler of the year to one year, and and um, I, I couldn't get a calm ball. I mean, there was you know, AMF was on Long Island. Mm -hmm. You know, they were on Long Island, and Roy Ryan, who was the the boss at the time at AMF, said to me one day in league, he said, um, "Hey, I got a I got a ball. I want you to try." I was excited. They want to give me a ball to try, right? 
He gave me the ball. The ball was drilled. He asked me to plug it and throw it. And let him know what it does. <laughs> but I thought about it. Can you imagine doing that to someone on the truck nowadays? Right? Like, Isn't that like, incredible? Like giving him one of Don Barrett's old balls. I'm like, here you yeah, go. Yeah, go right, ahead and get yeah. that plugged. And, and, and let me know what you think about it. Yeah, hopefully right? that layout's good for you. Yeah, but if not, yeah. just plug off yeah. everything. Yeah, and it was a, a blue angle. The, the dark blue one. You know, so it was funny because nowadays, I mean, people, it, they just think it's free city. Everything is free. Everything, give me free, free, free. You know, I get people in league. I got a ball league tonight that asked me, yeah, you know, can I get a ball? And now they don't even ask me. You know, it's just, I got <laughs> to the point. Because <laughs> you're, you're mean. That's I'm why. mean. Well, you know, I used to go in and, uh, you know, I get there early and my son bowls in the league. So I'll meet him for dinner sometimes at the lanes. We'll have something from the snack counter, hang out. And, um, a lot of times, if he's not going to be there, I'll get I'll get something to eat, and I can't. I meet people sit at the table. They just invite themselves over to sit. So now I put my headsets in, even though they're not even plugged into my phone. Yeah, you, you do that so you can eavesdrop on people too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you know, staff is not to be taken lightly, um, and I think a lot of people do. You know, we look at it as an extension of the sales team, and it's expensive to put a guy on staff. Yeah, bowling you know, balls don't grow on trees. Yeah, it's a couple of thousand dollars a year to put a person on staff between shirts, um, you know, the discounts they get for buying product, plus the products we give them. It's it's a very expensive uh, a situation. And if we're not seeing a return, you know, you got to look at it this way. Hypothetically, if it's a $2,000 investment on my part, I can't only get back 2000 in sales. Yeah. Because I could have done that without you. Sure. Right. You know, so I, I can, so you I realize can, <laughs> you, you can break even by doing nothing. Exactly right. I could break even by doing nothing <laughs> and not have to worry about the guy that flipped out while he was bowling league one night and kicked the ball return or tore his shirt off. And, and, told, and, told, and, <laughs> and, and, and shouted derogatories at children on the way out of the door. Yeah. 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 Or cursed at the manager's wife or something. Yeah. You never know, to I, be invited back to a center. Yeah, I had to so, deal with that kind of stuff back in the day. I know you did. I know you did. Deal with yeah, with, yeah. with all sorts of complaints from centers and, and other pro shops about this right. staffer showed up and he did this. Exactly. Like, this, this is the kind of people you have representing Brunswick. It's like. I hear that all the time. This kind of I'll, people you have representing your company. I'll talk to them. I'm like, I'll talk to them. I'll see what's going on. Right. I'm very right. sorry. You know, we'll get yeah. this straightened out. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now I got a man. It's somebody that I'm breaking even on. Really? Right. But those yeah. guys, I mean, when you're on staff, you have you're under the microscope and you have a target okay. on your back. Right. You know, where you you like to say, you know, how do I get on staff? You know, double an attempt to win the yeah. US Open. Yeah. Yeah. I told yeah. people it's like, you know, when I have guys, you know, that ask or girls, they say, hey, you know, I'm interested in becoming you know, Brunswick staff or how do I get on staff? And I always would say it's like, well, you know, who's on staff in the area, right? In the greater Northwest. Yeah. And they always say, yeah, of course, I know everybody. I was like, okay. I'm like, are you bowling the same tournaments that they are? You know, like the right. Portland Masters, you know, the Seattle yeah. Masters, all the, the Swisses. They're like, they're like, yes. I was like, all right, well, this is going to be very easy for you then. <laughs> Did you like, beat them? <laughs> show up and beat them. Right. Otherwise, right. there's a reason those guys are on staff is because they're going to yeah. be bowling in contention every weekend. Or the worst right. is when they say, oh, I... I don't bowl those tournaments. Oh, I, you know, I, I got stuff going on. I can't. Well, it's like, well, yeah. if you're not going to go out and compete and I'm signing you as a bowler. Yeah. What good is it? What, what you just going to bowl your three games a week in league and yeah. Yeah. And on influence staff? the two guys on your team. You know, right, that's the other thing. Team. Like if you, if you're bowling league and nobody else on your team is throwing our products. Right. Red flag. Absolutely now, right. Um, yeah. Unless they're on other staff. I get it. Like, you know, I understand. Like but you gotta be, yeah, I agree with you. And, you know, it's it's just so bad right now. Um, the people saying, you know, uh, hey, I had uh, had 17 300 games last week. Not last week, but, you know, I might have 70 300 <laughs> games this year. Right. Sign. <laughs> yeah. You know, or, or two 800s and you know, this and that. But, you know, the scoring is not what I look at. Mm -hmm. Because it's not even about how good you are anymore on scoring. It's how you match up. Sure. I mean, you could be a, a better bowler than 10 people around you and never score the same way they do because you just don't match up. 
you know, the tricks. I mean, you don't have those Cardinelli tricks with the hand. You got to have the tricks. You got to have tricks. You got to have every, you know, and it's not how many balls. I mean, trust me, the worst thing in the world. And, and when I bowled, it was even worse. If, if I had to put four balls on the sheet, I ain't cashing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, looking back, I mean, my, some of my best scoring was three right. or less. You know, I, you know what, eight sure. game block, you know, three <laughs> balls. Right. Usually right. one one ball to get me through game one, one and a yeah. half. Yeah. And yeah. then two to do most of the work. And then when they start to burn, ball three. And if, yeah. if I got, like you said, if I'm if I'm filling out my sheet complete. I get it. I'm done. I'm yeah. done. I'm just going to find a nice I, meal afterwards. I bowled a regional one time with Wayne Webb. We were buddies real close and both together. We're standing online, check in after, you know, the cash you get us to get the ball checked. And I had one ball. Mm-hmm. And, and Wayne's talking to a guy on the side, and the guy's checking in eight balls or ten balls, you know, to weigh him in. And Wayne said to the guy, "What place do you finish?" And the guy said, "Twenty third. He said, "He finished sixth. He's got one ball." And I said, "Wayne, what are you picking on a guy for?" <laughs> Playing head games. You know? Yeah, I I checked in a nuke. That was it. It was all I had, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but nowadays, it's it's everything about balls, and that's why people want to get on staff because they think the next new ball is the answer to them becoming a better bowler or you know, you're a golfer <clears throat> people buy drivers every and, year and every year people buy a driver 10 more yards 15 more yards if i buy a driver every year i hit 15 more yards further into the woods that's all <laughs> it would be and i have less chance of finding a ball so i'm out the 400 dollars for the driver and the three dollars for the ball yeah i'm still hitting my uh my epic flash by the way which is a 2017 model i believe Oh, God forbid you should hit something old. That is old. It's not old. There's been four, is, seven years. That's true. You're right. That is there's old. There's been four different drivers in the. Since no, then. I understand. But it's the same thing with bowling balls. You know, not every bowling ball is going to be perfect for you on your league night. So oh, absolutely not. And and reviewing all these new bowling balls, I'm seeing balls that are that are difficult for me to match up to. Right. You know, there's only so many tricks I can do to get a ball to to do right. Yeah. You know, yeah. like with like this last video I just did with the ocean vibe, you know, out of the box, yeah. shiny. I couldn't get that ball through the pins, shiny. Right, right. Not, not, it's not actually a bad one ball. time. No, it's just for the fresh pattern that I bowled on. Yeah, that's it. Not good. Right? No, I agree but with when you. I, when I surfaced it, it was great. But yeah, I mean, I didn't like every single ball we come out with when I was on staff. There's some right. balls I drill. I was like, ooh, okay, well, let's, let's try a different layout, you know, and because yeah. back then, you know, I would, I would, I believe I got two of every ball that came out, but that was Brunt. Right. There was only one brand. There was, there yeah, was no was seven brands. No, of I know it. Now it's crazy, right? Yeah. Right. So, yeah. like, if yeah. you think like being on staff with Brunswick means you get one of every ball from every seven brands, you are sorely yeah. mistaken. Not even the pro staff get that. I loved every ball we come out with every year. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love them. Now, you're, biased. you're certainly biased. No, I absolutely love every ball we come out with. As a bowler, I love about two. Yeah, I mean, you still throw your intel. <laughs> my intel is my number one ball. Yeah. So you know what? But you know why? Because it works. Sure. You yeah. Know? So you got to, as a staff, you know, looking for staff. I see a lot of comments, too. So Yeah, we'll go uh, through We'll go through staff here a yeah. little bit. Or no, sorry, yeah. staff. All the comments from people but, and, and kind of catch up here in a minute. Right. But, you know, what I see is I, I the, the reason I always tell people – and. Now, I don't tell them when they write in because I can't be rude to them. But, uh, but people that ask me about it, I always tell them you got to think of the reason you want to be on staff. Sure. You know, and if the reason is, well, you know, look all the free product or the shirts. and That's not a reason for me. I mean, it's and, a reason you know, for them. You know, For them, it's a reason. What's my return on investment? If I give you 10 balls this year and five shirts, what yeah. do I get back? Yeah. With someone in a pro shop, it's easy to quantify. Cause... Absolutely. You look Absolutely. at their, you look at their, you look at their distributor purchases, what they're actually buying. Very simple. Very easy to programs and you know, yeah, it's easy. Mm -hmm. But when you tell you know, well, you know, I people throw what I what I buy, you know. I, I got to tell you a funny story about that, and then we'll move on. So um, this, this is back in the track days. It's really funny. Tasty and the um, track days, by the way. Well, when I my track days, <laughs> and um, we had just come out with the. Um, the Triton Elite. Great ball, by the way. It was a great ball. So we had done some seminars, you know, going around visiting shops and everything. And um, 
this guy calls me up um, from the military base. And he says, can I get, not one, can I get four of those Triton elites? I said, four of them. He goes, man, whatever I throw, people have to have. Hmm. I'm like, well, that's fantastic. Guy goes, you need four? He goes, absolutely. I get four of them. I'll sell, you wouldn't believe how many boards were sold. He says, everybody throws whatever I, uh, or buys whatever I throw. I said, well, give me your address. So he says, you really going to send me the four boards? Yeah, give me the address. He gives me the address. I go, listen, before you hang up, you know what them flamethrowers you guys have? <laughs> Go on. If you sent me one of them, everybody on my block would want to have one. Yeah. <laughs> so he says, I guess I'm not sent, you're not sending me those balls, right? I go, yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I could really go for some military yeah, yeah. grade night vision goggles. What can you do for me? What can you do for me? You know, if I really want to have them. Everybody's yeah. gonna have them in my neighborhood. Yeah, our so. our neighborhood hide and go seat games at night are are gonna be unfair, and they're gonna have to buy them. <laughs> yeah, I told him we had them flamethrowers. You guys have. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're gonna anyway. take some questions and comments, and uh, okay. there's been a lot of people chiming in, and that's great. We're gonna Good, get to great. as many as we can and um, go through them. So first one, David. Conover, no one is on Brunswick staff in my area. How do we get a demo day? Only Storm and Motive staff around here. So, you know, just because the shop is not a Storm or Motive, or I'm sorry, it's not a Brunswick affiliated shop, doesn't mean they can't get, you know, some demo balls or some demo products. I know that for a while there we were shipping that those kits to different shops. I'm not sure if we're still doing it. Um, but the best thing is to just ask your local pro shops, even if they're not affiliated with us, to see if it's possible and talk to their product specialist. Let's see. Here we go. And here, here's a good example of people, you know, I manage a center at night and currently in the works to take over the pro shop. I have put at least uh, two dozen radical balls in people's hands this season just by my advice. Christopher, we thank you. That was it. <laughs> no, we appreciate it. Um, and that's what it takes. You got to have somebody at the place with the people. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you have to have a, what I call a, a, con, a control over the audience, um, sort of a confined audience. You know, they work in you. They come to your center. They come to your pro shop. They're captive. It's a captive audience. And you can basically, if you're good at what you do, you can influence them. Yeah. And that's how, that's the people we look for. And if you do it long enough, we're going to take notice. Oh, absolutely. You know, if, if, you know, if you just jump in and you say, oh, you know, I just I just took this role. Yeah. You know, what can you do yeah. for me? It's like, well, you know, let yeah. me know. It's like, yeah. One of my favorites is the emails you get where the guy just copied and pasted <laughs> and then forgot to take the part about at hey, the end. Like, I love Roto Grip balls. Yeah, I've you seen know, a once few. you get on radical staff, blah 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 blah. And for the last 10 years, I love Rota Grip Balls. And then I cool. write back and said, You sent uh, you sent your email to me. I think you had the wrong company. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's a blanket email that's sent out. I mean, at least yep. you could have done his blind copy to everybody. <laughs> and the best part about it is he sends it to you guys at the office too. So you got seven of them or six of them, and I got the other one. Mm -hmm. And we don't we don't compare it. He they think we don't talk. So, mm -hmm. all right. Um, let's see. Going through, make it up in volume. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, somebody's got radioactive night vision goggles. Who does? <laughs> Somebody does? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wing, wing racer. <laughs> I have a yeah. set of military night vision goggles for you. Only problem is from 1980s. You can't legally throw them in the trash. They're radioactive. It's beautiful. Yeah, Rob <laughs> says the uh, the best staffers are out on the lanes talking to people and putting equipment in bowlers' hands. Anyone that can shoot 300 these days. Can you help a guy who averages 120 to shoot his first 200? That's yeah, that's how it – that's the one. You know, and and um, for a while back when we first started uh, Radical, we were, we were catering to the 185 to 190 bowler. Because if he bowled good, everybody noticed that, and all of his friends noticed it. And here's the interesting part about that, and then we'll move on. Um, I call them five percenters. 
the five percenters are the guys that are 220 and better uh or even more than that nowadays um they're either on staff or they get free balls and they talk to themselves they hang out together and they socialize together and no one breaks into that little circle so all they're doing is comparing how many free balls they got with each other the 185 bowler who gets nothing Mm. goes and buys a ball that the pro shop guy talked him into buying maybe the best he goes out on a lane shoot 700 every person that he knows knows about that 700 because it was his first one or it's one of few and those people ask him and here's the other part that ball must be good because he he is not that good a bowler so it must be the ball could be the guy is a good bowler he just you know doesn't doesn't bowl as good as the 220, 230 bowlers, but he gets a ball in his hand, shoots 700. Everybody knows about it. And that's how you sell more balls. Got another question from Tyler here. As much as I'd love to be on staff, I don't think I'm good enough. Humble. Okay. Despite that, my buddy, who's Brunswick staff, said both my brother and I could probably get advisory staff, but I don't know who to talk to and how to do that. Tyler, talk to your friend's product specialist if they'll give you the contact. And uh, go from there. That's the best way I could tell you. You know, if yeah. they, uh, yeah. you know, obviously you have a friend that's on staff, so he can kind of help vouch. But you know, there's a limited amount of spots out there. That's the bottom line. And if the area is already saturated with a lot of staffers, you know, it might be a little harder. So, but uh, talk to your guy about talking to a, the product specialist and see about if there is maybe an opportunity there for you or not. Um, hey, hey, the guy with the radioactive glasses wants to trade me the radioactive night vision glasses for, <laughs> for an out of limits. Just what, just, <laughs> just what you need. That's what I need, a radioactive night vision glasses. Just what you house. need. <laughs> All right. Um, we got a lot of comments here. Here's fun from uh, our guy, Gary Langoy. Langoy? Oh, yeah. I can never say his name right. I just call him Gare, Gare Bear. House of Pain has a lot of purple hammers. I'll tell you what, I was obviously the first one to throw a purple hammer there, you know, when nobody was throwing your thing. And right. I, I went on a string where I said, I'm, I'm not going to drill another ball on Thursday until I don't shoot over 700 with the purple hammer. Right. I, I didn't drill a ball for almost three months. Yeah, that's perfect, right? And this last season, there's probably like yeah. six or seven guys in the league. And mind you, there's only 30 people in the league. It's a yeah. six six lane center that had her throwing purple hammers. So right. there's a lot of purple going down the lane. So, so did you ask about getting on staff? I you know what? I put in an email to the hammer rep in my area. And he said no. I haven't heard back. Yeah. 